Howdy dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla's Texas Kitchen, we are headed down to old San Antonio where they invented the puffy taco. And don't start giggling, it's really not that funny. It's actually just the most perfect taco ever created by man. We're gonna visit Teco Molino, see how they make their masa from scratch, talking about starting with dried corn, and turn that into puffy tacos. And then we'll come back here and I'll show you how to make puffy tacos for yourself at home. So let's get started because puffy tacos, right? Who doesn't love them? Here we are in San Antonio. Remember the Alamo? I know you do. All right, we're gonna do a little sightseeing. So let's giddy up. Wish I had a horse. Molino here in San Antonio. Y'all are famous for your puffy tacos because you make your own masa, which we're gonna go see how you do that. Um, so what is a puffy taco? It's a raw corn tortilla that goes into the fryer, magically puffs up, and then you stuff it with whatever you want. And it's uniquely San Antonio. It is, it is. So yeah, let's talk about that. So they were invented here in San Antonio, and there's, I've heard there's some discrepancy about yeah. Henry's or Ray's. Yeah, or... we've been doing our research. Well, I think there's a consensus that the puffy tacos were created in San Antonio. They originated here. Now, who and when is still a mystery. Um, you know, uh, Henry's has claimed it uh, 1978. Uh, we've been around since 1937, and I know that uh, as late as the 40s, uh, we've been serving puffy tacos here. For a long time, uh, it was just typically a San Antonio street food. It was something you found on the streets, at fairs, at fiestas here, and not very many people made it. And probably in the last 15 years, you start seeing it pop up more and more common. Yeah. It's kind of exciting. It is labor intensive, and I think that's why a lot of restaurants will contract it out, but we like to do it in-house. We like to, every restaurant loves to claim that they make everything fresh. And, and we love to do that too. You know, we like to say we do everything fresh. And cooking your own corn and grinding it and making your own tortillas and your own chips and your own puppy tacos and our little corn cups. That's as fresh as it gets as far as corn production goes. Antonio's gonna show us how they make their masa from scratch, right? So this is the Molino? Yes. Or, okay, and this, so this is, is where just Molino, the grinder. This is where Molino comes from. This is the mill. It's really hot. You see how smooth it is? It's, uh, it's just a pure, yeah, it's pure <laughs> warm. So, so what happens now in, in the morning, every morning Antonio will get the masa, pull it out, like, kind of feel and touch. And the smoothness of the masa depends on how tight those rocks are. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And you just kind of knead the salt in right. to a little... Ingredients. We're sharing it on TV with you guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it may or may not be salt, everyone. <laughs> so they say. Okay, so this the masa has gone through this extruder, and Antonio arranged it evenly so that it's, it's pressing out a, an, an even layer. And then there's a little cutter on the bottom, and they have different thicknesses that can, for all the different um, corn tortilla things that they make. And he's just basically using a gentle touch and a keen eye to figure out which tortillas are good enough for puppy tacos. So it's real simple. You have to have the you have to have the oil temperature right, and the water in the masa is going to get cooked, and that's what's going to make it puff up. Do they ever explode? They do explode. Yeah. If there's too much water in the masa, they'll they'll blow up. That's they don't. They won't blow up with the, the oil coming at you, but the the shell will blow up. It'll get a big hole in it. So again, it goes back to what we we're talking about with the having the right consistency, having the right temperatures. The right amount of water when you when you grind the corn, all of that plays a role. You gotta have the touch of the puppy taco. You gotta have the touch of the puppy taco. You have to have it practice and experience with puppy tacos. <laughs> I I do. I do. I do. You oh, might be really? surprised. 
Okay, so first we're gonna do a beef puppy taco. So what we're gonna do is get some of our picadillo meat. Just potatoes, red bell, green bell pepper, seasoning, spices. And over here, a little lettuce, a couple of cheese, slice of tomato. There you go. I got my vegetables and my meat and my corn and my dairy. Everything. And all my food groups in one food group. Order up. Order up. Come on, people. We've got a bunch of tickets back here. Just like an off. totally are but they are so worth it so please don't get frustrated please give it a shot and leave me a comment below let me know what you think bye see you next week